Okay, we'll call me in order. Now we solved all that. You there? You this morning? Morning. Um, they have 71 inmates, 12 are Department of Correction. Um, our local jail population has been increasing in the last couple months, so probably will be a busy summer. Mainly thefts, drug arrests, uh, scrap metal, catalytic converters are on the rise. Uh, probably across the state at least. Uh, 5,558.25 for year to date collections. The personal protection permit is still on the rise, so uh, there is talk that I'm doing away with that. So there's one more funding or other At this point, they voted it down the legislature again, I would say. I don't know if they have. I didn't see it. I think the Senate uh, stopped for that. Okay. They could have come back and they come back. Yeah. Uh, we did have our uh, Department of Firearms auction. That was for our seized and forfeiture firearms. That was last Saturday. Uh, raised just shy of forty thousand dollars, so it was thirty-nine. I don't remember. Thirty-nine seven or thirty-nine eight, so just shy. Uh, I think roughly one hundred and thirty. And it started out good towards the end of it. They started selling cheap, but I mean, we didn't have a dime into them. They were, but. And that all either goes back to our forfeiture account or our firearms training account. So it all all goes back to the county or department. So, so that, that will help. And I think we still have maybe 40 guns left that we just couldn't get to. We'll have to sell a seized car in September. So we might have a small auction again in September. I went down to the preview. I wasn't so much interested in the guns, but the coin thing, a separate coin auction, you know, there's a lot of people just at the preview when, when I was there. They, they thought that would be a 45 minute auction. I think it was a two and a half hour auction. So. Well, uh, that's all I have, though. Okay. Frazier, you got anything you'd like to say? Nope. No? I'm good to see you anyway. Good to see you, everybody. Yeah, I'm good <laughs> to see you anyway. Hey. Nothing. Nothing? Wow. Chris? So, um, I amended the five-year plan because I thought it had been accepted by the DNR last year, but it missed the deadline. Um, it's been accepted this year, and I've actually got a copy for all of you of the amended plan and the acceptance letter in there. So... It's kind of a learning experience. I've never done one of those by myself. Hey, at least you got it done. Yeah, it's, it's in there. Yeah. Yeah. At least you got it done. So. But it's over with now, so we can now apply for grants from 2021 to 2026. Great. Thanks for getting that done. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Arts and Rec Fund is supposed to be 575, not 525, for the John Deere Gator.
we wanted to try to get financing on our own. Um, there's a price per grade here. Okay, so, help to interpret this a little bit. Okay. Well, each grade what I remember right now is that, and I think I see this on here, is we, we pay about $25.5 yeah. a year mm -hmm. for each, and they were three year deals, which is yeah. why you're here now. Yeah. Um, now, the, the, the new leases will be for five years, and um, the seven, like just the grader, just like we've got. 772G six wheel drive is $43,299.58 each a year. Down the bottom. Wire, uh, so that's significant. Right? Yeah. That's uh -huh. $18,000 more yeah. per year. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also five years. Yeah, it's five years. Why are we. Why is it up so much, and why are why is it now five year deal instead of three? Well, we we changed it to the five year deal because it, of course, gave you the lower payment, and you're still under warranty the whole time. So uh, the the significant difference is if you look at your lease buyout, up that's under option one, two hundred thirty two thousand one thirty three, mm -hmm. and if you look at the lease buyout uh, uh, down at the very bottom, purchase option end of five years, it's 139055 Right. And the reason is it's the market. It's flooded with motor graders. And uh, it's not only us. Cats are doing the same thing. And uh, they, they came out the first of the year and said we're losing about $150,000 time we take the lease breaker back in and uh, we have a lot of them to take in. So we're, we're moving that around. Um, so it's something that we didn't like, <laughs> but we got to live with it. So it's not, it, it, it's the finance side of doing it, driving that. Price is having increased all that money. Yeah, and tractors and all that stuff. And I mean, it's been the, the way that these main OEMs have been able to move equipment the last several years is leasing the hell out of it, right? So then you get two or three year old machines on the market that nobody wants. You can, you can and they look, still want fortune for them. You can look online and see look at, you know, how, many, how much stuff is out there. It's, it's pretty, uh, there's, there's a lot there. Are the current ones still under warranty? Uh, through the end of July. There are only a three year warranty on those machines, yes. but these other ones will be at five years? Yes. And that number, that, that, that 43,299, also includes the PMs. Right. So one got the tires on it the other day? Yeah, because they have to be at least 50% when we turn them back in. And they so, were shot. So, uh, we paid for the tires? We paid for the tires. And I've got another one of those tires to put on the other one. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Um, just so you know, I, I do put the heaviest blade that I have on that the cutting edge on it. Oh, do you? That they offer me. But it's still it's still off you heavy. It's just it's yeah. not heavy enough for what we're. Yeah, we'll just take from the week. If we get new ones, when we do, we'll just okay. take those off and replace them, keep them back for when yeah. we trade them off. The other end it goes to uh, uh, what most counties run, which is a, uh, it's a, I think it even has uh, hard surfacing put on it, doesn't it, Randy? Hard code here. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's carbide welded into it. Carbide, inserted carbide. They last quite a while unless they have to. I don't want to be in the ownership business either, but um, I'm just I'm staring a little bit at this. Do you keep them for a couple more years? But and then do it. But I mean, it's a significant jump in the price of the leases. Do you need a six wheel drive? No, I don't think so. That's one of the other options we're going to talk about. We'll get the, the smaller grader. Well, it's the same size grader with just four wheel drive and 50 horsepower less. Yes. Uh, we can get that uh, for 39, 235, 13, which I saves a little. 16 though, here. Mm -hmm. And I think we can get by that just fine. Basically, he, the four grader. He even brought up the. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, he even brought up the. Printout of the times that the graders had six wheel drive in and the differential locks in and all that. Oh, you can. You yeah, we got that. Will get you. Uh -huh. Yeah, they'll, they'll rack it out. Yeah. <laughs> there's only one grader that had it in all the time, which that's. Probably didn't need it yeah. in all the time, did it? Probably, no probably hard on our. Probably hard on the system, actually. Yeah, well, the tires. 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 Well, it's anything yeah. like. The front wheel system like tractors, uh -huh. if you leave them going down the road, you're eating up your tires. Yeah. Right that's why we have to put new tires on. Oh, Hopefully, maybe they'll mm -hmm. do that stops. But, uh, what was it? Yeah, he's retired now. So that's uh, uh, going with the four wheel drive right grader to alleviate that problem. Mm -hmm. Not let the go to slip the Which, Which ones don't pull the front ones in? Yeah, yeah the front yeah, ones. The four rear ones. Yeah. Or the rear ones. And differential lock, you lock them in. Right. What's the, just so I can then understand if you, because I, I see it as part of your two additional years, 5,000 hours. What is, what does that mean? I mean, it looks like to me that some way you're buying the thing out. Is that big right? Thing. Basically, if you take that 232 uh, buyout number up above there, okay. and you brought it down, you added your uh, preventative maintenance and you added your warranty, um, that would put you uh, buying the machine at 246,079. So if you look at it in one year, you've paid 246,079 for it. If you drop over the 127, 650, 281 is half of the 246, and so forth and so on across there. So basically, that's not financing. That just shows you what it, what you would, uh, the machine would cost you less financing for those years, additional yeah. years. So you're talking sixty some thousand dollars a year at that point, right? Yeah. For two years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So keeping them is a bad option. It looks to me like it is. Well, that's the way I'm reading it. Yeah, it, it, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, we don't want to put it in the 60s, though. Better put your money in, in brand new ones, at least in brand new ones. Well, right. certainly yeah. at that price. At that price. Well, if, even if you went back and leased the old ones, they would take the residual value, the, the buyout, and put it into new standards. It would be kept at your court of contract. So you would, you would, your, your current or your purchase option would, for instance, change from uh, 232 back down to 123 or 139. So your even your payment will be more if you kept the old ones. I don't think that that's something. No, I don't either. I just want to make sure I understand it though. 
Now another thing, April the 21st, the prices go up 1% on the regular. That's so much more to uh, we can't make the deal anyway. I mean, all we can do is create a fund deal. Well, that's kind of why. Well, they meet that. They meet the. Well, they should make the. Twenty the 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 the twenty the twenty the twenty so at least if we'll take another sixty thousand dollars a year, no more than that. Twenty five versus forty, that's not four. All right. So, but then we get new machines. That, that has the has the maintenance plan paid for itself? I believe it has. Yes. I thought it would when we did it originally. They've done all the services except the greasing. We do that at nine or two weeks. You know. But, uh, <clears throat> they fixed, come up and fixed hoses. We've had four or five hoses real bad. Um, had one electronical problem. Yeah. Of course, that would have been a pretty good chunk of money. They have DEF well, ready. Yes. Money, but... mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think we had trouble with one DEF. Oh, that's normal. Too. That's uh, normal. DEF's a painter. Well, they've been up here seven or eight times other than their. Normal PM maintenance. And what's the service call cost? Well, it's under warranty. Yeah, but what would it cost? Well, it would be $145 an hour. Then a trip up. And that starts at the shop, right? At least that's how it does. It starts when he finishes his lunch. Yeah, that's right. As soon as they get the call. Yeah, I'd believe that. That's how you know. It's saving a lot of money. I would really sure it was. Yeah, I'm not in favor. I'm not in favor of owning the craters. We got away from that. I don't see why yeah, you should go back. back. Yeah, this, I was this just. Work way too well. I was just hoping it wouldn't be this drastic of an increase. Well, that's, I, I agree. I'm not exactly excited about the price increase here. Fourteen thousand dollars piece, but that's a lot. That's how my motor grader days are over. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's like everything else. It even let us let stuff going up in the last three years. Pretty significant. Well, when you and I talked about this, when we were kind of there in the I think we involved, we talked about this, and then they were, weren't they just basically turned around and taking what the graders that we would turn in and almost sell them for basically a brand new price or close to Well, I remember when that started this 30 years ago. Uh, the first time I did a deal like this was with Vigo County, and uh, they got two new graders, and after one year, they traded them in and got two new, two more, and it cost them $10,000 a machine to run uh, one year. Uh -huh. And then, you know, things started catching up, and everybody was doing this deal. And then, then they said, well, you can only do this every three years. They're still on the three years, but you can't afford to do three years. So it's it's a way of dialing back. Uh, they're, they're getting too many machines back. Yeah. They want to produce them, but they don't. <laughs> well, it, it, exactly. But once Digger Construction or any of the rest of them gets slow on producing new, they'll change this, they'll turn this cycle back. They'll put it back up because they need to move machines. That's how these plants make their money, is building equipment, right? Right now they're busy enough that they don't want all this stuff out there and they can slow it down, so. The other thing is the demand on use. Right. Once it dries up, which I don't know how long that'll be, but once it dries up, then it'll start to run back around. Yeah, once you cut down how many used ones are out there, then they'll sort shorten the cycle again, and they'll need to build them because we're in a cycle right now where they're busy. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. it's going to be mm -hmm. Well, I would support the four wheel drive version in five years. We'll set a on that. Is that right? Everybody all right with that? We probably ought to have a motion in a second. So, when he's praying, so you'll have to do the commissioners yeah. on the 19th or, mm -hmm. and yeah, we'll tell them right. that they have our blessing to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, hopefully, get into this. Hopefully, if I 
tie it into the side so that we don't want to lose it. Okay. Okay. Oh, we don't want to pay no, that's right. Sure. They'll, they'll understand that, for sure. So, yeah, that's not 1% sale price, it'd be 1% less price. Well, I think most of it would take 39, 235, 13, deal with 5 I'll say it. All right, all fair. All right. All right. So, you have our blessings for that. Thank you. Yeah. I need to talk to you about mm -hmm. a bridge. Uh, okay. 100 West, I think. They sent me oh, a picture yeah. of mm -hmm. it, and it's. Are they, what are we going to do with that thing? We're putting a new deck on it. What's that? that a cement that, deck or no, a metal? No, corrugated deck? metal. Corrugated. When do you think that might be? Honestly, I can't tell you. <laughs> well, bridge inspections we came up with had, uh, I think it was 12 bridges. We got to put riprap under for scour. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we got four of those left to go. Of course, this week was over here, but this new one is on the bottom of the road. Um, it should be finished today. Okay. Um, so we got to go back to fixing those bridges. I don't want to lose federal money. And then after that, we're going to get back on that bridge. Okay. That, that's slow going, it seems like. Well, that's what the people were telling yeah, me that are complaining. Of course, we had the winter. Oh, I know. You know, I and, know. Well, try to push that up as fast as you can yeah. because I'm starting to get calls about it and, okay. and I'd like to try to have that fixed sooner rather than later. It's on schedule. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll tell them it's on schedule. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Well, well we've got another one of those do up. But that's what you're doing. So you, you put rock or anything down in there? Yeah, we put rock over the top. Or well, asphalt, whichever, but I think we So you put rock. a metal top on it then? Yeah. And then there'll be rock or asphalt or yeah. whatever then on top of it. It was asphalt before, and I think this time we're going back with white rock. That's it. The whole road's right away. That's right. I'm living in the place. I'm like, there you go. Yeah. I have a picture of it. I have, they seem to send me pictures of it, but I have a picture of it. You know where John R. Tigg lives? Beg your pardon? John R. Tigg. It's right down the hill from his house. Okay. It's horrible. Cool. Yeah, Potter's been checking these things out. <laughs> <laughs> but if you really try to get the bottom of Potter's in your room, it's pretty great. Try to push that as long well, as fast as you can because I'm getting complaints about it. So well, we're still about five people short, so we yeah. always do what we can do. Okay, well, keep trying, keep trying. We've been patching the last two weeks. The patch tree went down Bridgeton Road. Huh? The patch tree went down Bridgeton Road. Uh -huh. Did an excellent job. Yeah. Uh, well, I have to say all of them have been. They got them flat and level, yeah. and I was, yeah, a little bit Yeah, I've yeah, been over where they've all been, and they've all done a pretty good job. In the past, we've got to come yeah. up a little bit. Yeah. Are, yeah. Whoever does them, a well, good job. Okay. Okay. Those employees no longer there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, well, thanks. Thanks, thanks. Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you before five years. All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks. A lot. yeah thanks. Is that the John Deere place of Terre Haute? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. I stopped out there the other day and paid for my desk control, and they were servicing a grader in there. Yeah. Well, I think for us, just you know, we can't ever afford to buy a whole new grader in a little time. We're putting so much money in those old ones. Old yep. junk ones. They put new motors in, it'd be fifty seven thousand. Oh, he's put a motor in in one of those, and it's like he's still a jump grader. And it's still a jump grader transmission in one of them right before we get rid of them. Yeah. 25,000 and change. Paper. At least so this is the way to go. Yeah. I guess we can get rid of it. Okay, let's go on. Approval of the minutes. Motion has been made, second approved the minutes from March 11th. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we have the local health trust. Talk, or already yeah, the local health trust yeah. additional is from what we talked about. Uh, requires this a quarterly extension of time and, and break for the health nurse during the pandemic business here. That should come out at about $7,410 for the work. Um, I realized Chris said that the vehicle was supposed to be 575 It was advertised at 525 It cannot be approved at anything above 525 because that's what was advertised. So you'll have to find $50 to transfer. Okay. Um, that's, there's no other right way around that. Um, I looked up what we sent to paper. It was sent at 525 So, um, 
anyway, that's uh, for the gator, right? Yep. You bought the gator. We had approved ten thousand in the budget. Uh, it went over that by five hundred seventy-five dollars. Yeah, they bumped it up from the price it would have got last year. Well, we just went through that with John here yeah. a few minutes ago, right? So yeah. um, that's what that was for. You have anything else you want to say about it? Uh, nope, I got the lowest, best price possible on the QPA. Yeah, I talked to you about that. Uh, you did get the QPA price, which is the, the state purchase uh, quantity purchase agreement price. I believe what that stands for. So um, all good there. So that's the additional. Second. Both have been made except for the additional appropriation. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Both. No transfers, no reappropriations, pay the jury. I make a motion we pay the jury. Second. Both have been made second, pay the jury. All in favor? Aye. No reduction of funds, redevelopment commission. Uh, we did meet, uh, we received a Request from the revolving loan fund that we tabled pending further information. Um, we wanted a, a couple references and um, some other information uh, on a two or three year established business. So this is not a normal revolving loan situation. Most of those are startups. So we asked for a little information, so we tabled that for the time being. The annual TIP report was submitted. Later in the week of that uh, meeting, um, state requirements. Uh, we are still working on action on some delinquent revolving loan loans that uh, have not been paid in a good while at this point. So the process is still moving forward, and then also approved an interlocal agreement with the town regarding this sewer sort of project on 41 North, funded out of Central TIP. That uh, interlocal agreement uh, will fund uh, the we decide in the front end million dollars. Million dollars in the front will be paid, and then uh, an eighty percent of the revenues until it's paid off, up to one point seven five million, I believe, um, for that project. So busy month for retail. Planning zoning? The uh, planning didn't have anything. Zoning had a request for a variance on the top of Walker Boat for a boat that made it for the sea store and out there. And for some reason they take it. We don't want to move it more and more information. Is that a flat store? Is that a lot store? It's a neat store. Oh, on the top of it. Just up the top. from the ranch? They took up the top of the ranch. Yep. I guess they told the neighbors and it's a go.
For any of you who don't know, she's a first grade teacher at Rockville Elementary. I hired her. She's good. See, Wesley had her in class, so she. She's got a great coat. Well, I think she would be a good addition to the library if she's interested. So. Motion to appoint. Second. Okay, motion has been made and second to appoint Terry Paxson to the Rock to the Park County Library Board.